Manchester United burst forward now from midfield. Paris is providing the option. Here she is now, Nikita oh. Paris. Wonderful finish. That is an absolutely terrific goal. And it's her first in a Manchester United shirt. Exactly what she needed and exactly what Manchester United needed. Yeah, fantastic goal. And it was a great run from Onya Batier that, uh, that came out from left back with the ball, caused them all sorts of problems. And it just gave her that space. She just shifted the ball and then bang, you give her that amount of space and she'll bury that. And uh, Nikita Paris is definitely saying to Mark Skinner, I want to be in your starting 11. And a great start for uh, Nikita Paris and uh, Man United women in this Conti Cup game. Well, she's certainly given him a good reason to potentially promote her to the starting 11. Nikita Paris signed during the summer. Clumsy from Katie Zeller. Yeah, looks like Daly's gone uh, up the middle. So, uh, Daly and Tashardin. Tashardin's uh, got pace, but uh, obviously she's going to be up against uh, Anya Batia. So, it's... Uh, a tough baptism for her in a villa, a villa shirt there. Yeah, it'll be a very interesting duel, given the fact that Batier has just started to make a few errors in the second half. Manchester United won't want to be making any errors defensively from this free kick. Kenza Darley stood over the ball. Dali in, it's a really good ball and it's not at home for the equaliser and it's Rachel Daly who's got it. Well, we've been saying throughout that she is a player to watch. Hit the crossbar in the first half and she's not at Aston Villa level and you've got to be honest, Glenn, it's probably been deserved. Yeah, I, I, I totally agree, Dan. Uh, very poor mark in there. I don't know who was supposed to pick her up, but she got a, a straight run on there and got a free header, basically, and uh, again left Sophie Bagley uh, in, uh, in no man's land. McLaughlin. Garcia. Oh, it could come through. Big opportunity. This is Ella too. Oh, what a stop that is from Anna Liet. That is the chance, surely, Glenn. Yeah. And that's a huge chance. And one you'd expect Ella too to take. You would. I thought she was going to go round her and just slot it in. Then she opened her body up to go there. But to be credit to the keeper, she stood big. I thought here she's going to take it round the keeper here, but then she stood big and she took it in the face. Credit to the keeper, she made the big save at a big moment. But Ball forward still again, on. still a chance. Garcia giving chase, but Turner makes up for the mistake that allowed two and in. She gets across and swings it out into touch. Like you say, I thought Ella Toon was actually going to uh, going to put that in the uh, in the back of the net there. A big chance, big moment. Well, there's a long throw in about to come into the box. The answer's yes. Ball headed on. It's full time. And that is full time. And Manchester United are going to have to be put through a penalty shootout. It is Manchester United who are up first. Which psychologically, you, you could say it gives you an advantage, you could say it doesn't. But they are going to be the first to strike. Katie Zellum against Anna Liat, who made that really brave stop from two. Up she steps, Zellum into the top corner. Good, solid penalty. Time for Sophie Bagley to make herself uh, the hero of the hour. Absolutely. It's the second choice. She knows that she's not going to get much of a look in in the WSL. This is her competition, but she can't stop that. That is as emphatic as you like, right into the roof of the net from Alicia Lehman. Wallop. Yeah, good penalty. Um... Up she steps, and it's well saved by Anna Liat. Big, uh, big effort from Sophie now. Yeah, for Villa to put themselves in the ascendancy. Corsi into the roof of the net. Two exemplary penalties so far. And she had her afternoon personally on a high. Borisa, oh, squeezes that one home. Up she steps. Confident run up, oh, but it has been saved. Letizia steps up, 
And I think Analia got a touch, but Letizia's spot kick had enough power. Kenza Dali, the latest Villa player to step up. I think me and Glenn are probably in agreement that she was Villa's best player in that second half, at least. Up she steps, Bagley saves! And now Manchester United, one spot kick away from winning this shootout. Short run up for two. Oh, oh it's an awful penalty. Sarah Bailing though, knows she has to score to keep Villa in the shootout, and she does. Emphatic. Top corner. Whistle is blown. Blundell saved. Up she steps, oh. saved by Bagley, and we go on. On your bat yet? Oh. Saved again. Up steps Maz Pacheco, and it's slotted home. And Manchester United begin their Conti Cup campaign with a penalty shootout loss.